for earlier on business morning and yes it's still about conversations about central banks and uh, raising rates even though we see in some climbs um, uh, the inflation targets are uh, getting closer for most of the developed economies uh, but here we're still trying to um, get there anyway to our first um, conversation uh, now we, we know as listed companies reel out their results and Nigerian banks make moves to raise capital um, in the markets investors um, need to be uh, protected you know looked at in navigating investments uh, in Nigeria this time but let's hear now uh, from the latest Securities and Exchange Commission Director General that's Dr. Uh, Imamotimi Agama um, joining us from Abuja studio great to have you on the show sir thank you very much for having me all right it is great to have you and um, definitely um, I believe first of all um, congratulations are in order and your new role. Um, talk to me, how does it feel? Uh, well, it's, uh, it feels good. It feels good to have an opportunity to serve the nation uh, from the regulatory okay. perspective as the apex regulatory All right, um, uh, I don't think um, I, I can hear. I said it feels good to be here. It feels good to serve Nigeria. Uh, from the perspective of a regulator, and uh, I believe strongly that we have a lot to contribute to the development of this market. All right, so, you know, how would you gauge, you know, um, compliance to regulation, you know, by um, listed companies so far? It's been an incredible first half uh, for, for 2024, and now we're in the second half. Um, how you see, you know, Nigeria's capital market, you know, post assuming office? So far, it's been a mixed bag, and uh, clearly there have been some very significant strides by companies uh, in an attempt to comply with our regulations and the regulations of the capital market. Of course, uh, they are aware that the new management, you know, has been uh, appointed by uh, the president. Uh, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, His Excellency. And so clearly, uh, the direction is changing, and the mood is shifting, believing strongly that uh, we are a year poised for business. And business means good compliance. And of course, for those that are yet to comply, we are encouraging them to comply by all means. So basically, uh, for this administration, it's about encouraging people to comply because that is what we desire for companies to do rather than punishments. And um, what, what are you seeing, you know, um, going forward now? Um, definitely, we know uh, we've been talking a lot, you know, about um, issues in the capital market from, um, we, we've seen um, issues when it comes to uh, dividends, you know, on claim dividends. I know that has been a major issue, you know, in the market. Uh, talk to me about how you're seeing it and if we're seeing any, um, kind of improvement when it comes to unclaimed dividends? Yes, uh, thank you for that very vexed question. I call it vexed question because everybody's interested. And uh, clearly, for the SEC, it's a very important topic. And because it's, it actually speaks to the investors themselves. So unclaimed dividend means dividends that have not been claimed by investors. The reason why investors come to the market is actually to have a return. And when they do have a return, and that, that return is not uh, getting to them, then it becomes a challenge. And the SEC is very, very serious about it. So very recently, the Senate Committee on Capital Market had uh, a program, uh, a hearing on it, and uh, we were there fully represented. But for us at the SEC, we believe that we can deal with it. And uh, that actually has taken us into rejigging the entire process. Very recently, uh, the SEC and the capital market operators uh, in a committee set up by the, com by the commission, you know, actually looked at the entire spectrum of the unclaimed dividend issue. And basically, we identified that the major issue is about, you know, identification of uh, investors. So uh, that alone brings to, bear to, to the fact that technology will be a solution. So we are looking at the full hog of the entire process, trying to make sure that we identify uh, people because one of the major reasons why dividends are not paid to people is because of their account numbers and all of those details that are required for us to be able, for the companies to be able to do that. 
So uh, the SEC is actually in the forefront of making sure that the unclaimed dividends are reduced. And of course, at the end of the day, they are completely you know, uh, erased. So for the SEC, we will continue to do our best. We will employ technology, we will employ education, we will employ persuasion, we will employ every means that, we, that is legitimate to cause people to understand exactly the processes around claiming of dividends, the processes about uh, you know, identification, and the processes around making sure that people understand exactly what they need to do in an attempt to get their dividends back. And for us, any attempt to get this, to reduce the dividend, will be a positive angle of our administration. I'm looking at another, uh, 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 another segment that's becoming quite popular, and that's um, green finance. You know, recently the, the SEC and uh, a partner with the Africa Development Bank, you know, to boost Nigeria's um, uh, finance, uh, green finance um, leadership. So tell us, you know, what transpired and what we can expect, really, you know, when it comes to uh, green finance and if it's, it puts more pressure, you know, on the SEC when it comes to regulation. Well, it won't put much pressure on the SEC. The regulation, as far as the SEC is concerned, is talent-based and indeed knowledge-based. So green finance, like it is, is one of the newest instruments uh, in the capital market. And so what does it speak to? It speaks to actually the Nigerian nature, because for Nigeria as a whole, go north, go west, go south, go east, we are speaking about the green economy. So uh, for us, it's an opportunity for, to provide investors another avenue of uh, investing in, in an instrument or in a space that clearly speaks to their nature. So for us at the SEC also, uh, what it requires is for us to improve our knowledge, to improve our talents. And that is why we, uh, we are collaborating with the AFDB to be able to provide capacity development, both for the regulators and for market operators, because without enough capacity, we will not be able to uh, deal with the challenges that comes around that. Um, and also, very importantly, Nigeria is a green economy, and indeed uh, fostering a green economy and getting the green economy to part of the development of uh, the president will be a, an essential aspect of creating a better space for people who want to invest in the capital market. So for us, there's no pressure. We are up to the tax. We are dealing with the challenges that it, it will bring. And of course, we are improving the knowledge of participants and both the regulators to be able to meet with these challenges at any point in time. Talking about um, investments, we definitely cannot look away from the bank recapitalization um, process. We're seeing a lot of banks, you know, a couple of banks have tapped the market um, right now. But I want to know if you're satisfied with how the banks are engaging, you know, with investors. Sometimes when I go into my bank apps, I, I can see that, you know, some of their offers are right there, you know, on my app. So how are you seeing all of that? Well, just to let you know, on the inauguration of the current board by the Honorable Minister for Finance, Mr. Wale Adu, uh, one of the charge to the SEC was innovation. And for us at the SEC, that is what we are embracing. Our Section 55 of the Investment and Securities Act actually gives us powers to be able to create uh, apps or in, in, uh, electronic means of offering in the Nigerian capital market. So in putting that to play, what we have encouraged is electronic offering in order to also deal with the issues of unclaimed dividend and all other issues that has to do with identification. So you can see what has happened. Uh, we are on speed in terms of our approvals on the bank issues. Uh, my team is working day and night to making sure that all of the applicants to the Nigerian capital market are attended to in quick time. And so for us, we are satisfied. And we, are, we believe that our clients, who are the banks and the companies that come to the market, are also satisfied. Time to market is of essence for us. And so we are making sure that every offer that comes to us in good, in good form is properly at, attended to and approvals are given speedily. And so for us, we are like, excited about the development. We know that this will bring to the market and indeed the banking system. Besides, we believe a strong banking system will help 
in achieving the president's agenda for a $1 trillion market. Another burning issue uh, right now, that's the cryptocurrency um, industry. We know a lot of countries, a lot of um, security and exchange commissions are struggling when it comes to you know, regulating um, cryptocurrency. Talk, so talk to me about how hard it is actually regulating cryptocurrency in a country like Nigeria. Well, it's exciting. That's what I would say. Uh, the SEC had been in the forefront of regulation within the fintech space, and this started far back in 2017. And so we are continuing in that state. In 2020, September precisely, uh, the SEC issued a, you know, a statement, you know, providing clarification on around fintech and everything around fintech. Inclusive of that is digital assets and cryptocurrency is one of those digital assets. So for us at the SEC, we have been working from, you know, long ago, before now, to making sure that the, 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 the space is safe. Because primarily, the objective of the SEC is investor protection and market development. So if we provide education, if we provide knowledge, if we provide regulatory framework for the market, then the market will be safe. And that is exactly what we've been doing. We have issued the vast regulation, which is the virtual asset service providers regulation long time ago. And of course, besides that, we, what we also did was we introduced the regulatory incubation and the asset related regulatory incubation programs from the SEC's perspective, making sure that everyone that is involved in this space has you know, regulation around them and is able to understand the friendliness of the SEC in terms of bringing everybody on board and making sure that the space is safe, the investor is protected, and market is developed. So for us at the SEC, we are up and doing around it, and we believe strongly that learning, continuous learning in, you know, in compliance with international best practice will be the best way to go. And we're not going to shy away from it because it's either we bring them in or we lose it all. So for us at the SEC, it's a matter of bringing them in, all in, and that's exactly what we are doing. So, you know, crypto has had uh, regulatory issues in, in a couple of countries, um, even recently. Do you see um, Nigeria, you know, being crypto friendly at some point? Well, uh, I, from what I've said earlier, you understand that uh, Nigeria is not averse to good cryptocurrency uh, regulation. So for us, it's about positive cryptocurrency regulation. Every crypto exchange, everyone that trades cryptocurrency in this country must come under regulation, must be seen, must be known. That is you know, the way the SEC sees it. And so because cryptocurrency regulation has relationship with macroeconomic variables, and as such, we would not want anybody to be out of our space in, in, a, in our ability to build a strong and, uh, uh, strong and viral market market for the for the nigerian economy so clearly for us it is all about having to make them understand get people more educated about you know cryptocurrency trading digital asset trading and everything that has to do with it there are opportunities around it and so let's look at the opportunities and as such we'll deal with everyone who is not complying with our regulations as you know provided by the law we are certainly going to work by the law and nothing but the law. So we believe that everyone is, you know, actually uh, understanding where we are coming from. And of course, they are following our regulations as much as they can. So we believe that in, in the coming months or days, you know, uh, certainly more information will be made available to Nigerians as we move on. But what is critical for us is the protection of Nigerians. Right, and I know um, very soon the capital market uh, stakeholders are going to be meeting uh, for another, uh, I think it's called the CMC meeting, um, definitely. What, what should we look out for, you know, this uh, coming one? Yes, uh, of course, we'll be uh, unveiling our vision, uh, where we are going to. We know exactly where we came from, and we know where we are going to, we should know where we are going to also. So we'll be unveiling where we are going to. We'll also be soliciting the cooperation of all capital market operators in making sure that we build a market that we'll all be happy about, a market that is uh, transparent, a market that has integrity, a market that has value, and as, of course, a market that detests manipulation. So for us at the SEC, for our team, 
our business and our intention, like I said earlier, is investor protection and uh, creating an opportunity for, in, uh, for everyone that is going to be playing in this field to actually appreciate uh, the good work of Mr. President in the redistribution of wealth to all Nigerians. The essence of the capital market is to create a strong economy because the capital market is indeed the barometer of the economy. Well, as much as possible, make the capital market strong enough that everybody will be proud of. Every Nigerian citizen will be interested in investing in the capital market, and that is our goal. That is the goal of Mr. President, and of course, we'll do all that we can to be able to achieve that goal. All right, thank you so much. It was great having you, Dr. Ibomotimi Agama, Director General, Securities and Exchange Commission, and congratulations again on your new role. Thank you very much, Ladi, for having me. Thank you.